think this is going to be dry. Yeah, oh. that one is. Elementary. Um, I think the voting is very calm and very peaceful. However, I'm very disappointed for not giving 40,000 polling agents the accreditation when we were supposed to just write a common letter and it's supposed to be released. I know this was done for NDC and it was done for MPP. Well, the two parties were successful uh, with the EC, but New Force hasn't been. For some reason, I believe that the same God that always keep us in peace within our governance will see us through this moment. I just want to say to most of the polling agents that ended up without accreditation that we're sorry. It's not that we didn't want them to be the polling agents, but it's just that they didn't release the accreditations for them. And they personally gave it to them and made them feel a different form. I think that Ghana needs um, some sort of... Uh, transparency in our democratic constitutions. Um, if this falls apart, I think that we will take it further to the International Court of Justice. But we just hope that this voting goes well because at this very point, 80% of our polling agents are not going to be in the room to actually rectify our pink sheet. They thought that we would not get the 40,000 people. But if we come this far, what makes them think that we were not going to give them those names? And why did they disappoint us? I am still not happy. And from the past three days, I've released three different, um, two different uh, press conferences. I hope that Ghana is hearing us. Uh, as we speak, there's so many people who couldn't get food, but they still went to represent us as polling agents. We didn't know them. They are our polling agents, but they didn't give us the chance to even accredit them or give them the accreditation so we could go through the process as they make it look like. I really have realized that um, the Jopoli is overprotected, it's overhailed, and everything evolves around them. Uh, this election should show Ghana that that shouldn't be the case. Everything should evolve around Ghana and the citizens of this country. It should not evolve around parties. So I'm using this moment to remind the likes of EC, the parliament, and some of these governmental institutions that let's stop making this whole thing about parties and let's start making our national governance about our country and our nation. Thank you. What has been the EC's uh, response, explanations to not giving your um, agent these uh, accreditations? Nobody has responded and uh, nobody has apologized. And this, you don't need to apologize. This is a complete sabotage, you know that. And you should rather find a way to prepare yourself for whatever uh, court cases that might be coming, you know, if it doesn't go well. And, you know, I, I want to plead them that these things can cause problems in the country. You know, they shouldn't be biased. They shouldn't also go behind one party. You know, I, I know that they've taken me out because out of the 13 people, I'm probably the only one standing out. The rest are just sub-politicians for the same geopoly. We know this, okay? But I'm the only one standing out. You thought that I wouldn't make it to the ballot. Thank God I am there. And in the past 40 years, you haven't had a youthful face coming on the ballot, which means we have been secluded from our own political governance and principles. Today, there is a new phase. There is a new beginning. The youth have risen up in this country. And it's not because they just want to be part of the presidency. It's because they want to change in this country. And I'm pleading with the nation, the country, and all the governmental institutions to give us the chance to be a part of our own destiny. That's all we are asking for. Talking about the court, uh, is that an indication that you are going to take a legal um, process or a, a action against... It's these? probably too early to be discussing that, but it's just important that I make it very clear to the nation that we have been sabotaged, and that was not supposed to happen. Now, if that causes, causes us a lot to lose, then one might have to pursue the case for their own rights. And democracy is practiced based on human rights. So if, um, if my rights is taken away from me, then I have the right to make sure that 
you know, that is a client back for us. That's it. So you just had the leader of uh, New Force, uh, Nana Kwame Bediako, addressing the media, and he's raised a number of concerns. Um, just uh, some few minutes uh, after casting his vote together with his wife here at Kole uh, Klote School of Journalism Polling Center. And one among the concerns that he raised, he says that he feels that the EC has deliberately sabotaged him by not accrediting his agent to be able to observe the elections at the various polling stations and he's giving indication that if everything doesn't go well he may end up taking legal actions against the EC. Over to you in the studio.